hi guys thank you so much for stopping by my channel so in this episode we are doing a detailed tutorial of this very design and we move on to how much we will sell it we are going to split all the details and then we introduce the next episode at the end of this video so make sure you watch to the end so that you know exactly what to be doing in the next episode if you are new thank you so much for stopping by please subscribe if you enjoyed the video and yeah this very episode we did the same thing in season one we use slippers this is how it looks like so i'll leave the link in the description box you can check it out and let's move right into our video so i'm using 0.25 beading thread and i'm using size 8 mm pearls i've single threaded my needle and i went ahead to pick three white pearls and one gold and i'm going to tie my thread i move it all the way to the end of the thread and i'm going to tie it just like so so i'm basically tying a very nice and a secured knot just like so then once that was done i went ahead to get rid of the excess thread right there then i went ahead to pass my needle through a couple of beads but make sure at the end of passing your needle through a couple of beads your be your needle sorry is coming out of a good pearl so once that was done i went ahead to pick three good pearls so three good pearls just like so and just note where the, the pearls are you can see it's at one end of the good pearl so I go through the other end of the pearl, just like so. Just watch closely, it's very, very easy, very, very, very simple. You can try at home, you can do for a friend. Just watch, it's very, very easy. So I, I'm going to pass my needle through the next gold bead. Right there. So I'm passing my needle through the next gold bead. And I went ahead to pick three white pearls. So I picked three white pearls and I went through the gold bead again through the opposite end. So wherever your pearl is coming is going to, then you pass your needle through the opposite hole or the opposite, yeah, the opposite hole of that particular pearl. So going through the other end, this is what I have now. Now I pass my needle through the next immediate gold pearl, just like so, just like that one I pointed. So you can just watch closely and watch as, as much as possible until you understand. But I'm sure it's very, very detailed. You really, really understand. So I had to pick three white pearls again. In this case, I'm using white and gold. We can use any color. You can combine any color of your choice. All depends on your creativity. So I went through the other end of the gold pearl. Just like so. And I have this up to this moment. This is what I have. I'm just going to pass my needle through the next gold pearl. So we are basically going through the gold pearls. So I pick three pearls, three white pearls. Then I went through the gold pearl again, but this time the opposite end. Yeah. So that's how it should look like at this point. That's what you should have if you followed carefully, which is very, very easy and very, very simple. Now let's move on to the other parts. So I'm just going to pass my needle through the gold seed bead. So I get to any of the apex. You see it has two, uh, sorry, it has four ends. So any of the four ends, you can start from there since we are now starting the next part you can start from any of the four ends so i'm just passing my needle through a couple of beads to get to one of the four ends so that's where i decided to get to once i got there i went ahead to pick 
one white one gold and one white sorry i decided to use blue pearls instead so i went ahead to pick one white one blue then one white So as usual, where the bead settles, we go through the other end of the same bead. And this is what we have. And I'm going to pass my needle through the next white and the blue bead. And note the direction of my needle, where I pass my needle through. So I'm going to pick three three blue beads this is where our beads are now so we go through the other end just like so it's very very easy and that the video is also very detailed like I point to where you are supposed to pass a needle through so I'm sure if you decide to do this it'll be very very easy for you yeah and at the end of this video I introduce the next episode so it's just right at the corner we will get to the next episode soon but before we get to the next episode we'll introduce how much that's then and i don't even know what to say that's another chapter we've started how much how much we are going to make from this bead we are doing this design we are doing so after this tutorial we are going to um talk about how much we'll get from this very bead let me know in the comment section like right now how much you think you sell yours if you do yours how much you think you will sell yours and yeah if 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 you decide to try this i'll leave a link to um okay you don't want to come later so i i just went ahead to pick three I'm going through the blue pill just like so now you know we are going to pass our needle through the next blue bell so i had to pick the last set of three white bells can see it's very very easy like very 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 easy you can try it and yeah guys we are back to our uh, three times uploading schedule that's monday wednesday and friday so every monday wednesday friday you have a new episode coming your way you have a new design coming your way this is what we have up to this point i pass my needle through the pearls as usual to get to the top then i started the third part so let's continue chatting we have new episodes coming your way every monday wednesday and friday so if you are new please subscribe and join the palma family you are most welcome you are more than welcome to join the family and um yeah thank you so so much we have 900 subscribers now and i'm 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 praying by the end of this month we should probably get a thousand like you should get to 1k at least 1k so do me the honest please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on your bell notification so that you be notified the moment the next episode is uploaded and give this video a thumbs up continue to come back to palma tutorial and what again what's next what's next what's next what's next it's not coming you when it comes we'll talk about it so this is what it looks like when we finished i went ahead to pass my needle through a couple of beads just to tighten my work just to make it a bit more tight i use 0.25 beading thread but if you have 0 0.3 or 0 0.35 you can also use it it will make your work more um tight yeah and more secured so i just passed my needle through a couple of beads and i went to i went ahead to tie a couple of knots 
so once that was done i went ahead to get rid of the excess thread and this is what it looks like at this point so to finish it up i'm using this locker here when you open this how it looks like and when it's closed this is how it is and i'm using gold stoppers i'm using this gold stoppers here is it is round it looks like seed bead it looks like metallic seed bead yeah let me put it that way it looks it looks like a bead by it's metal yeah so i went ahead to cut about 100 centimeters of my 0.25 beading thread and i pass it through the topmost bead just like so and i went ahead to pick four seed bead now we have two two threads the left thread and the right thread so i went ahead to pick four seed bead on each end of the thread so four on the left then four on the right so i put the two ends together and i pass two beads two of the seed beads i'm using the big size seed bead the biggest of all so i went ahead to pick two more i realized it was too long it will be too long if i continue so i think i reduced it i removed one each so i ended up at first i picked five initially but i realized i needed four so i got rid of one one on each end and i went ahead to put the two threads together and i passed two beads on it i passed the two threads through two beads i'm sure that one is quite better so i went ahead to pick two of my stoppers So two stoppers. It wasn't very clear, but I just picked two of the stoppers. And I want to pick one end of the locker. Now I let go of the locker and I pass my thread back through the stoppers. So I'm passing my thread through the stoppers. I should have spared this part up a little and i i passed my thread through the two beads we picked so i'm passing it through two and this is what we have at this point i went ahead to do the other end quickly I did that one off camera so i went ahead to press the stoppers with my flat nose this is my flat nose i went ahead to press the stoppers very very firmly and tight i prefer to use my two hands so that i can press the stoppers very very well so i press the stoppers at each end and make sure your work is tight before you press your stoppers so that when you get rid of the excess thread, your work doesn't get ruined. And then I got rid of the excess thread. So this is episode seven, guys. This is what we did. I believe it was very, very detailed and very, very self-explained. So the big question is, how much? How much are we going to sell this very one? Um, the pearls was two cities um the cd bead was one cd finishing and thread was one cd estimated cost is four cities so i'm going to package it nicely and sell it for um roughly 20 cities let me know how much you will sell it and let's welcome episode eight yeah guys this is what you are doing in episode eight thank you so much for watching up to this point this is what you are doing in this very episode so please subscribe turn on your bell notification so that you be notified the moment episode 8 is out and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up bye